how your journey began career changing is not a, a easy step it's Correct. a very big step and mm -hmm. need a, a strong background and strong firm so it gave confidence by saying this okay, okay why networkers home from networker homes i can get that uh, strong thing and strong background yeah. how did you keep yourself motivated teachers are more supportive self studies don't like net a ccna and i'm not so big to suggest you build up the confidence, be ready for everything. I think I made a best choice of choosing that worker soon. Changing careers is not easy, but it's possible. Here's the story of a civil engineer who is now working as a network engineer after CCA security from Networkers Zone. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Voices of Victory. And today I'm joined by Dilip who is here to share his story. So first of all, welcome Dilip. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, thank you sir. And really congratulations to you thank on you your much. success. Thank you. Now, the first thing everybody wants to know is about your background, can you tell us about your beginning, how your journey began? I completed the BE in civil engineering. Uh, then I came on network zone I took a CCI security course. Mm -hmm. After uh, six to eight months, I landed on a job as a network engineer. Uh, and uh, now I'm currently working as a training network engineer in Alakrati consoles. So why networkers home? Why did you choose networkers home? Didn't you come across any other institutes? Yeah, I came across the other institutions and uh, saw the your social medias and also some YouTube channels and uh, Instagram. So I feel that it could be a best choice of my life. So I landed here. But still, the same question I'll ask again. Why need to focus home? It gave confidence by saying this, okay, oh, yes, I can get a job here and can learn more things. Getting job is not a thing. I learn things. Career changing is not a... A easy step. It's Correct. a very big step and mm -hmm. need a, a strong background and strong firm. So I thought that from network of homes, I can get that uh, strong thing and strong background uh, that network home can stand behind of me and help me to change my career. So I felt, don't know why, but I felt mm -hmm. uh, I can choose the network of home. Okay, great. So how was your first impression coming here? First day, I started with CCNA, Beam, sir. Uh, so first day I was uh, like blank, I was not knowing anything, uh, people were asking, answering everything but I was still new to everything. Exactly. Uh, so I was, one week I was quiet, I was not knowing anything, then later on uh, I got a confident, yes I can learn the things and then uh, after coming uh, to routing classes I got a more confidence that I can learn the things. But you know, coming from a different background, it might have been challenging for you. Yeah, very challenging. So how did you overcome the challenges? More thing is self-study. Mm -hmm. Self-study is uh, first one week. Yeah, obviously it will confusion how I to start, how I should cope up the things, how I should compete with those who are came from same background. Mm -hmm. so, and then uh, I started selfing study. I started seeing recordings, uh, not to a single uh, uh, mentor, I started two, three mentors. I started writing you know, notes. Main thing, the people, the students make a mistakes where uh, they have not. They will simply record, see the recordings, and they will make a main points. That's not a thing. We have to make uh, notes accordingly, yes. systematically. Exactly. Then we can study during those interview times and also attending the interview classes. Yes, mm -hmm. mm, this made me great. Uh, at times, you know, I see students that once they start with a course, so gradually they lose their interest. So yes. how did you keep yourself motivated? Even I, so I, even I lose the, uh, lose the interest because I was, uh, uh, so I think I can't make this. Mm -hmm. But then, no, I should make this. I made myself motivated. I should give, I, I gave like self-motivated. Also, uh, I took a guidance. Uh, this is my uh, thing. How should I? Nikun sir helped me and you also helped me and uh, Beam sir mm -hmm. uh, and uh, later on, yeah, these three teachers may, may majorly gave me your support. Can you elaborate your journey from CCNA to CCI? How did you go and you know, mm. uh, what modules you studied? Uh, How was your experience with the modules? 
and trainers. Yes, uh, as I said, the CCNA took by Beam sir. Uh, their uh, English was very good. So at the first days, it was difficult to understand. Later on, there, like Beam sir will teach he whatever he teach, it will come and hit in your ears. Mm -hmm. It we don't need to study again. It will keep on uh, he whatever he says, it will remains on the mind. So, so Beam sir, then I took your class uh, routing and switching, mm -hmm. and obviously you are uh, such a <laughs> good mentor. Thank you. Uh, and uh, you gave some wonderful questions during those uh, questions which are uh, you were asking. That was quite interesting. Also, you gave some curiosities where we need to search and do the homeworks. Mm -hmm. And coming to the uh, at Nikun sir classes, he he is like a, a samudra. Like we see, he will teach. Oh, depth, 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 it will be more interesting. I took his Palo Alto class and as well as uh, uh, advanced uh, CCNA. Then coming to the security, Sushil sir. Sushil sir is a, a very good experience man. He will teach uh, complicated topics in the simple manner. Yes. So we, we can easily grab the things. Uh, each file, uh, ASA, then uh, Palo Alto, Checkpoint, uh, uh, ICE, DNAC. Uh, so this is my course which I took from mm -hmm. the social That's great. That's great. Now, other than uh, your technical studies, what mm -hmm. else helped you in cracking this interview? I attended the interview classes usually. Uh, yeah, first I didn't attend it. Then I started attending through that interview classes. I used to get some important questions, how they will ask, how, how I should answer. And nowadays they have started a communication classes also. Mm -hmm which in more depth, even yeah, before also there was a communication, but this is more effective than that. So the, now the students are more luckier than me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this made me give a confident. I took a mock interviews majorly. Mm -hmm. I took uh, two, three interviews and then recently the job fair went, right? Mm -hmm. So that interview took by Arun sir. It was around the two, two and a half hours, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, they made me drink a water. <laughs> so yeah, thank for Arun sir. That he also gave me a confidence that you can answer the thing. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that, oh, no, I can't. And you also took the mock interviews. You have questions like, you know, students know that. <laughs> Happens. Yeah. See, we as a trainer are always, we always try that. You must be prepared for a level that you're not supposed to ask. Yes. Like the interviewers are not supposed to ask you for that. But we make you prepare for almost everything possible there. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, how helpful were all these activities, your interview prep classes, mock interviews, as well as the communication classes? It may help me that build up the confidence, uh, majorly prepare questions, uh, be ready for everything, whatever they may ask. Let it let be a scenario question, let it be a uh, uh, theory questions, and also applic uh, applied questions mm -hmm. like uh, indirect. Say the question is same answer, one answer, but they will ask indirectly. That mm -hmm. kind of questions used to ask in the mock interview, and you have to say, uh, and also used to say that this might be your questions in the uh, interviews, uh, interview lab preparation classes. So this is how helped me. I used to no note down the notes, majorly notes, and self studies is more important. What everybody want to know is how did you prepare for your interviews? I initially I was, uh, uh, yeah, I said I used to prepare a notes. I used to like first uh, I have to, to come up uh, means I used to complete that day that work and come mm -hmm. the same day. Mm -hmm. The lab usually it sometimes the lab might be difficult. So even the more important thing you should say that even uh, if I message at one o'clock the teachers night one o'clock mm -hmm. Nikun sir replied one. Mm -hmm. So he has to clear the doubts. Mm -hmm. So this is also one of the major advantage that by en enrolling in the network homes home we can think how I mm -hmm. prepared means like. I used to prepare a note, so I used to write I, I write down the things during also uh, preparing the interviews. I used to write, write, and I used to write more. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That I means more use of pen and paper. Yes. And that's actually true because more pen and paper you use, like things you write gets printed in your hand. Yes. yes. So you retain them for a long, longer period of time yes. rather than just watching. Yes. That's true. How was your overall experience with the networkers home? Overall experience, actually, I think I made a best choice of choosing networkers home. This is a one-line answer. <laughs> so what makes networkers home different from any other institute? Uh, other institutes, uh, I, I didn't know about other institutes, but I can say, I can't say that. But yeah, I feel that this is 
like teachers are more supportive and uh, they will give all the whatever the notes requires including the lab things uh they will support you for everything whatever you know just a thing that they will put effort at the time same time we all to should put the efforts without uh without uh, one hand clap can't be that's not possible yeah. exactly everybody has to do their part yes how how much they help though we have to uh, put our efforts on. exactly it's the students who are going to you know answer in the interview yes yeah, trainers cannot go there and answer for them yes <laughs> So, any last words for the people who are watching, your fellow friends, colleagues, and anybody who is willing to make a career in networks and network security? Yes. Uh, so, my suggestion, I'm not so big to suggest you. Yeah, still make a self studies, write down the things, do a lab practice, uh, lab practice, majorly uh, scenario based questions, and uh, this is my suggestion. And don't like net a CCNA. CCNA is the base. So usually students will ignore that is a CCNA, but that's not a thing. Wherever you go, they will ask about the CCNA. And even now also, uh, in, during the training also, they will only focus on CCNA, then a CCIE security. So please don't ignore CCNA. And uh, I need to thank each and every person in the network at home, especially who helped me, uh, Beam sir, Ajay sir, Shushil sir, Nikun sir. Thank you so much. All right. This was really a nice episode and we got to know a lot about, you know, his experience. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It was a really nice talking to you and hearing your experience with Networkers Home. And we are really happy that you enjoyed here. You made your journey successful and we wish you all the best in your thank journey. Thank you, sir. You and I miss you and thank you for once again to all the uh, person here. So that was all about this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some good insights and knowledge from Dilip. He shared all his journey and how he prepared. I hope that helps you. And also, I wish the next time I make another episode, I see you guys sitting in front of me. That's all I have to say today. Thank you guys for joining us. Keep watching Networkers Home for more search uh, videos and success stories. I'll come up with another one soon. Bye-bye.